Hello Minecraft fans, Dave Chaos here, and welcome to another Mod Spotlight, and today we're going to be looking at um, the Clay Soldiers mod, which has recently been updated to 1.2.3, and it's had a few nice little additions. I've never covered this mod before, and always wanted to look at it. It, it is so much fun. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to start from the top for those of you who have never seen this mod before. Um, you may notice that I've, I've um, prepared my little map, this glorious map, look, check this out, look, jungle biome there, mountains over there, oh, brilliant. So we've got ourselves a big arena here that I've made, and um, I've done one with a, a split off here, and I've done a little watery part down here, and as I go through things you'll see why I've made all these different ones. Um, this is probably going to be a two episode version of this mod because there's so much involved in it. So let's just head down here into this little area so we're not running around everywhere and start from the top. So clay soldiers is basically exactly that. It is soldiers made out of clay um, on the link that will be in the description as always will be um, uh, descriptions on how to make these little guys dead simple it's just soul sand and and clay. I mean, in fact, I will show you exactly how to make one of these. It's, it's extremely simple. So all you need is, uh, let's see now. You need do, 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 soul sand. So you need one of them, and you need one block of clay. One of them, and then all you do is soul sand there, clay there, and you get four clay soldiers. So there we go. So let's head back down here with our four clay soldiers. Now, because I'm in creative mode, in fact, I can come out of creative mode because I've got too many items switched on, so that's pretty sweet. Uh, yes, if I put one of these dudes down, there we go. All four of them. Hi, little guys. Aren't they cute? So, from the top, basically, you can give these guys items um, like sticks and leather and stuff like that, and they will use them as weapons and suits of armor and all that sort of stuff. Now, first item we want to look at is a stick. So if we get ourselves, um, oh, we've got some here. One, two, three, four. Now, you can't right click them or anything like that. You have to actually press Q to throw them on the floor. And off they go, they will go and arm themselves with a stick. There you are. Aren't they cute? Okay, the other thing you can do is give them some leather. So let's see, I've not got any in my bag, so leather. Let's have four of those, and they'll suit up. <laughs> this is brilliant, I love this. You can also give them um, raw pork chop, and they will they have their own little inventory, so they will save the pork chops um, so they can heal themselves, because later on, I'll show you, they, they'll fight with other claymen that are a different colour. So bear with me while I go through this lot, and I'll show you how they fight. Uh, that's what the arenas are for. So, what's next in my little arsenal? Uh, yes, you can make one of them the king. Um, you can only make one king, and to do that you give him a golden nugget. So, they're all going to go rushing for this little nugget now. <laughs> but uh, only one of them can ever be a king. If I throw another nugget down now, um, they won't pick it up, because we've already got one. So there's the little king dude over there. Um, another thing you can do is... You can make them glow in the dark. So we'll just throw out one piece. Let's see now. You need glowstone to make them glow in the dark. Whoa, oh, have I gone past it? Uh, there it is. Oh, I've got glowstone there. Silly me. So we'll make a couple of them glow. Let's switch it to night time. And throw a couple of pieces of glowstone down. <gasps> Yay, see how the glow? Ah, so you'll be able to see them in the night. The other thing you can do is you can give them gunpowder. Now, I'm only going to do this to one of them. What happens is when they die, they explode. So if you just throw that down, one of them will go and pick it up. And you can differentiate them from the other guys because if you look at him, he's got little speckles. You see that? And it'd be the same if he was a coloured a coloured guy. Um, you can also give them sugar. So let's give them some sugar. Give me some sugar, baby. 
Where the fuck? Do you know? The only problem with too many items is so many items. There, sugar. So let's give them four pieces of sugar. I'll go pick them up. Away they go. And that kind of makes them like hyperactive. So they're, they're a little bit faster than they used to be. Um, and they're off. They're breaking out! They're breaking out! Oh, we've only got three dudes left now because he's going to be going off on a mission. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, so moving on. After the little escapee, you can give them, or you can just throw down, little lumps of clay, and when they're fighting, they will revive their their dead teammates. So, have we lost another one? Oh, there he is. Um, so they've they've all got. What the hell? How did you get back in? How the hell did you get back in? Right, let's throw another one down. The scene is always easier. Um, so what they'll do is they'll pick that up and they'll use that for reviving teammates if they've got a dead teammate. Next thing is, you may have seen already, is you can give them horses. So let's put down three, sorry, four horses. And you have to actually place these guys, you can't just throw them out with Q. So there's four horses and they will hop on board. In fact, let's just break one of those horses. Ah, the king's already got on it. Never mind. Okay. Uh, let's get rid of that rain. Okay. So, the horses are made out of mud, you may be able to tell. Yeah, little mud horses. There we go. So they're all mounted. Um, you can improve their armour and weapons and stuff. So, to improve their sticks, <laughs> you can give them um, flint. Now, the flint doesn't get used, but uh, it just sits there and it doesn't go anywhere. What else did I want to give them? One, two, three, four... So, let's chuck down a piece of flint, and what they'll do is they'll go and sharpen the stick. You see that? Now you can see on the end of their stick, it's got like a little sharpened bit. Can you see it? It's a bit difficult to see. There you go. Okay, and the other thing you can do to give them for armour is you can give them bowls, and the bowls they'll use as shields. You see that? It's so cool. And then if you chuck down a piece of um, an iron block, they'll use that iron block to put spikes in the shield. So you just see, can you see the spikes in the shield? Brilliant. Now another thing I nearly forgot about the king was you can give him a bone. And he's the only one who can use a bone, but it's, uh, it gives him more damage for his weapon. So let's chuck this down for him. And he should go for that. I think. He's going to go for it. Look, look, look. Oh. Uh, let's chuck it right near him. No, I think because he's already got a stick, he's not going to go for the bone, which is a shame. Um, but there you go, you can give him a bone if you wanted to. Now the other thing you can do is you can give them redstone dust. So this also goes into their inventory. And what they'll do with the redstone dust is they can use it as blinding powder against the enemy. Um, they get one use with that. So you can see they're just holding it there in the hand. That is awesome, I love it. Um, what else? You can give them, uh, let's see, you can give them, not that, I'll tell you about that in the pearls later. You can give them slime balls, and what they'll do with the slime balls is they'll stick the enemy to the ground, which I think is just so awesome. And it even goes further than that, right? Now, with, uh, where is it? Let me see, iron ingots, if I can find them. You can chuck down iron ingots, and what these will do is they'll give them a heavy core, which means it's like an extra level of armour. So we chuck four of those down. In fact, no. We'll just chuck uh, three down. Now, the other thing you can do is to make one of them, like, practically immortal, is to give him a diamond, and it makes him into, like, a super mob. You see that? He's got a cape on his back now. Now, these guys aren't picking up the iron. Um, I'm not too sure why that is. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. But you see how they've got the capes? So, now his is indicated by the colour, so you know he's got the diamond. He's, like, practically invincible. And with the other guys, you can give them paper, and they will wear the paper on the back like a cape. So there you go. They all look pretty much the same now. <laughs> oh, these are lovely. I'm loving it. Look at them now. They're like proper little soldiers. And there's the king. Okay. Um, 
You can also give them throwing items. So we've got gravel. They'll use gravel as a weapon against the enemy. So let's give them all a piece of gravel. Hopefully they'll go and pick them up. Are they going to pick them up? I'm not too sure on how much in inventory they've got. No, it doesn't look like they're going to pick them up. But I can just leave them there for a moment. Uh, try not to pick those up. And you can also give them, which they will use, is wood. So we've put down three, two, three, four pieces of wood. And uh, if we drop that, let's see if they'll pick them up. Doesn't look like they're going for it. No, okay. So we know a way to get around this. We're going to need some more men. So let's have some more men. Hang on a minute. I don't want to spawn too many. Otherwise I'll be crowded by them. There they are. There we go. So they're picking up the picking up the gravel there. So it looks like they can only hold the gravel. But with the wood Fuck it, let's do it. <laughs> right, we've got loads of them. With the wood, they'll pick up the wood and they'll actually build with it. Well, they're supposed to. None of them seem to want to pick it up. It's very strange. Why, why are they not picking them up? Let's hop up here. Anyway. Now, the other good thing you can do is you can actually put all these items into a chest and they will use them. So we're going to put a whole load of stuff in here. So we're going to put them in there. Ah, I'll show you that in a minute. Um. And of course, we'll put some coloured wool down. And what they do with the coloured wool... Let's close that. Um, the guys wearing armour, if you pop down the coloured wool, they'll actually go to the wool... Whoops. They'll go to the wool and they'll take the colour. You see that guy there? See, look, he's got a purple... purple beading around his suit of armour, which is pretty cool. The other thing you can do with watermelon, you can put watermelons down, and the guys who decide to pick those up will actually become healers and there we go, they're gone. So the guys who are holding the watermelons now will attempt to heal uh, their friends while they're fighting. So we've got ourselves some pretty bog standard ones, we've got some with coal, uh, sorry, um, gravel, we've got some that are armoured up to the nines and what else we got? One last thing that I wanted to show you, uh, well one last couple of things I should say, is if you put down glass um, they will actually put glasses on from the glass. They don't consume the glass block, but check this out. They are awesome. Look at them with little glasses on. Now what this gives them is um, they can see an extra further blocks. Um, an extra four blocks they can see further than normal. So these guys are going to be like a force to be reckoned with when I spawn the next lot on this side of the wall. Because they've got all sorts of them on their arsenal. Um, and I think I've already mentioned they can take stuff from the chest. And there's one last thing that I wanted to put down. And this is a Pegasus horse. So this is a flying horse. So we've put one of these down. And look at them going for it. There we go. And they can actually fly with that. And off he goes. He'll probably disappear somewhere and we'll not see him again. 